YouTube, what's happening? College football week three is upon us. It started yesterday in a great game between Arizona State and Texas State. And then South Alabama dropped 87 points out of nowhere. Like, okay, if you were a 36 and a half point favorite, you dropped 87. That's crazy. Two beautiful games today. And then we got a whole bunch of games on Saturday to talk about. Do it a little different this week. Instead of doing just one take, Jake, I'm going to put these in sections by window. So Friday, Saturday morning, Saturday 3.30, Saturday evening, Saturday night. That way they'll have a few timestamps in there, but I'm not timestamping every game. I ain't got time for that. That's crazy. That's a lot. So uh, games that are just FCS related with like Michigan State Prairie View. I'll show you the screen that looks like this, where you get to see what the numbers are, but you know, we're not gonna go deep. We're not even gonna talk about the game. I'll show it to you and then we're moving on. That's how it works around here. So FCS, nah, not around here. So we will spend a little more time on the more important games like, you know, Alabama, Wisconsin, what have you, all your ranked matchups, all your bigger games, we'll talk about those. So uh, outside of that, uh, drop a like and subscribe. And, uh, before that, in full transparency, begrudgingly, I will show you last week's card because, oh, you know, it wasn't the best. So, but hey, we try to be open around here. These are the top plays I had last week, and it makes me chuckle looking at it because some of these are just, they look great before the game started, and then just watching, it was like, what the hell's going on? But some of these, you know, Boise was great call. UCF, it, yeah, it, whatever. That was last week. This is a new week we're moving on so let's go ahead and jump into that first set of games right now all right starting off with friday we have the ranked matchup of arizona k-state k-state minus seven sixty and a half total you can see the numbers first thing that stands out to me is both teams third down percentage was terrible look who they played arizona played northern arizona and they played another game too but for so far in the season you're getting 36.4 percent on third down that's not good it's 85th in the country k-state 114 out of 134 teams that ain't good that ain't gonna get it done and you can see the turnover margin's not good uh they're sitting there at zero and they're minus two at home like what what and then the defenses just aren't good i mean i know that both these teams are ranked but i can't personally bet on them i don't trust the over because i don't like this third down number and i don't like the under because i don't like this defensive number so for me i'm gonna watch this game for sure but i gotta pass on it and move on to the next game so because ugh, come on let's be honest so let's go to the next game which is going to be the kansas going so kansas unlv here we go pop it up uh we can see kansas has west virginia next week unlv's on a buy unlv's 2-1-0 with a 72 point there look at that it was utah tech let's be honest let's make that a little bit bigger so we can see it so there we go um both teams passing is terrible <laughs> they're both in the hundreds in passing uh, but unlv is 10th in points at 49.5 but kansas is a basically a 10 point favorite at home uh the offense is there 57 and a half passing defense for UNLV is just not good and Kansas is what are they 108 in passing oh well that's not good those don't match up at all oh but UNLV's defense on third down is second but I mean they played Utah Tech come on let's be honest so um Kansas I can't I think Kansas wins the game let's be honest but I don't like I don't, I don't really want to mess with that spread to be honest if anything I would lean the over in this one of 57 just because uh, the running numbers, third and 16th going against the run defenses. I mean, this is a hard one too. So uh, overall, I don't like this one. We're going to pass on this one as well. Move on to that first game on Saturday. All right, starting off Saturday, we got a lot of games to go over. For this window right here, it's going to be about 12 games. And if you just want a full list of games that look something like this, uh, this will be sent out to all the members, everyone that's a member of YouTube, that's a Patreon member, in the Discord, everybody will get this. And it's going to have passes. I'm going to put the leans on there this time. I'm going to put the official plays, things like that. So you got to sign up if you want this. And you can skip the video if you want to. Hey, I give you the options. But if you want to watch it, everything that's on this list will also be in the video so there you go i give you options there we go so let's pop back over to the uh matchups first one we got is wisconsin and bama and the talk around town has pretty much been this is going to be a blowout let's be honest so i watched all the alabama game last week and they look terrible against south florida but mainly because 75 on the o-line is just not ready to be out there and he got abused he gave up five holding calls i believe i saw i think it was crazy so they put an injured dude back in and then bam touchdown 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 
If that dude was in the whole game, it might have been a blowout, like even worse. The score is not indicative of how the game went. Now, Wisconsin, offensively, the stats don't lie. They are struggling, to say the least. So, for me, one of the plays I am 100% taking is going to be Alabama minus 16. I think they're going to slowly just pull away throughout the game. I know some people like the first half, maybe like 7 or 10. That's cool, but I think they might start off a little slow. One, it's early. Two, it's in Camp Randall, and that place is loud. We know this, so no matter what's going on, it's loud. Now, I think they pull away over the course of the game. So give me 16 for Bama, and let's bounce over to that next game. So uh, what do we got next on the list? We got some Tulsa, Tulsa hosting Oklahoma State, and I love this matchup. Tulsa is that third school in the state that always has to hear about the top two, and now they get to host one of them. Ooh, that's exciting. I'm taking Oklahoma, I'm taking Tulsa plus 18 and a half all day. It's not going to be one of my, like a Bama best bet, but I lean. It'll be a lean. So will I play it oh, tomorrow? Yeah, it'll be in some parlays for sure. It'll be parlay pieces for funds because I par. I bet almost every damn game, let me put it that way. So um, they're in some parlays, they're grouped up. There might be seven parlay, seven gamers, 10 gamers. Yeah, we have fun out there, put it that way. So um, definitely taking Tulsa plus 18 and a half just because they're at home. They got the ranked Oklahoma State, the big boy coming to your, that's like, then using the last game, that's like Alabama going to UAB. You know how crazy that place would be if that ever happened? That's how Tulsa's gonna be come tomorrow, so. It should be wild. I'll take the plus 18 and a half on a lean. So we'll call it lean. Uh, Tulsa plus 18.5. There we go. Add that to the list. Mainly because look at these defensive numbers. I know you played Arkansas, but come on, bro. Come on. Come on. You're, you're last in passing yards allowed at 340 over two games. Like, what? That's terrible. No. So, uh, yeah, let's move on to the next game. I'm talking, I'm taking Tulsa. Not, not, I refuse to take a road team going to the little, ah, no. Uh, next up is what? Ooh, fun one. LSU South Kakalaki. And we see LSU has UCLA next week. That's a fun one. Arizona, uh, Arizona, South Carolina has Akron. I saw the A and I was like, immediately thought Arizona. South Carolina, I had Kentucky last week. I had them and I got in embarrassed by that one south carolina came out and just punched kentucky right in the mouth uh i think kentucky doesn't know what offense is like did they remember how to throw the ball no no so um but do i think south carolina is good no <laughs> so i just think kentucky's way worse than we thought uh lsu struggled with Nichols in the first half and all of a sudden then figured it out it was weird so this is a weird one i lean we we know we, we know south carolina is going to be rocking a little bit it is a ranked lsu coming to town do we ride the south carolina wave here or do we take lsu lsu ooh, last time mm, we saw him against usc usc's quarterback looked good but that was lsu's defense looked like, you know, I mean, they stopped the run, but they didn't stop the pass, which is what LSU doesn't do. So, I, do I take the home? Do I lean the home dog? If I can get plus seven, I'll take it. But I, I'm going to lean South Carolina at home. I'm going to lean SC plus 6.5. So, I'm sure there's sevens out there, but the numbers are coming directly from ESPN because I got the schedule from ESPN. So, we got to go what we got to go with. So, yeah, we'll lean SC uh, just because we know the place is going to be rocking at home now. Because uh, it's anytime the big boy comes in, ask Alabama 2010 how that worked out. Yeah. So, yeah. So, we got that. Let's move on. Ooh. All right. This is a, we got a bunch of good slate the first games of the day. I like this. Oh, Michigan. Oh, Michigan. You got, you got USC next week. Arkansas State has Iowa State next week. These numbers are not good. Now, you play Notre Dame's defense, which we, not Notre Dame, sorry, Texas. You play Texas, too. And Texas absolutely owns you in that game. Um, yeah, 12 is generous because that was late. We saw that. It was very late. So Texas could have put up 50 if they really wanted to. Let's be honest. We all watched that first half. Uh, Arkansas State is 23. Who? This either feels like Michigan figures it out and goes to the blowout or Michigan struggles and this ends up being like a lower scoring game. So, uh, oop, go back. Uh, there we go. I personally am not touching this one. I, we need to see how Michigan's offense works because right now they can't do nothing. So, um, if you can't get it going against Arkansas today, you ain't getting it going with nobody. So, if anything, I'm leaning that under because Michigan loves those 38-3 to finals last year. And 
with Moore as the coach, they're probably going to do more of that. They're only averaging 21 points. Arkansas State's only averaging 31. They beat Tulsa, which, hey, good job. But mm -mm. I, yeah, I, I lean under uh, 47 and a half in this one. And if it can get better numbers, yeah, I would take that. But uh, yeah, under 47 has what I lean. Michigan, I'm not even going to put them in a money line parlay. Mm, no, I need to see something out of Michigan to, to show me why I should. So, yeah, yeah, leave that one alone. Pass, movement on. Oh, we got Illinois versus Central Michigan. Illinois got the win over Kansas last week. Central Michigan got beat the hell out of them by FIU. FIU with the beat down. That is FIU, right? Yeah, I got to make it small so we can read it. Okay, that's fun. Make it big. There we go. So. All right, there we go. So Google Sheet, what can you do? You can only do so much with a Google Sheet. So there you go. Um, I mean, it's Illinois about an 18 and a half at home. I'm a little wary of these big home to favorites now. So just because of things like this. But FIU beats you like this, I think I like Illinois. Illinois just came off the Kansas win. They look good. The offense is middle. The defense is amazing. So uh, what's the total? 49 and a half. If anything, let me find a team total FIU out there. But I'll take Illinois. I like this one. This is going to be an official play. I'm taking Illinois minus 18 and a half. If I can somehow get that bad boy to 17, which I doubt it will, I will take that. But uh, I would play this all the way to 20 just because I think Illinois is going to run all over Central Michigan. If FIU can do it, Illinois can do it. That's That logic never fails in betting, right? Never. So there we go. There's that one. Let's keep it rolling. Let's keep her moving. So uh what are we up to next force oh gee florida state memphis this is a fun one um oh it didn't pop up what they did they were by last week so that's right they had no and so um fsu minus seven at home against memphis i i mean i almost want i want to take memphis i i think I, i'm gonna leave memphis I, I leave memphis i've already looked at this one i, I leave memphis because We've seen Florida State twice now and on TV, and they have not looked good twice now. So, Lee Memphis plus seven. Why not? That, that This feels like a field goal game, if anything. So, yeah. Yeah. Lee Memphis, let's keep it moving. There's no point of stopping here. So, uh, NC State's up next against La Tech. And, who uh, Tennessee just beat down NC State, didn't they? Look at the defensive stats. These numbers are atrocious. And this is two games, not just one. So this is an average here. So Tennessee didn't do that much damage. But La Tech came off a bye. They've been prepping for this. It's 21 and a half. I lean La Tech plus 21 and a half to do something because the numbers look good. Uh, they had a whole week to prep. Yeah, we're going to lean. We're going to lean La Tech. Because we're getting, we're, you're giving me three touchdowns off a of bye week against NC State who looked miserable. Yeah. Yeah, let me get that lean there. Not official, just a lean. So, uh, next up, I mean, what we got in this grouping? One, two, three, four. Five. Okay, next up we have Miami of Ohio, and yeah, they they only played one game so far, so their numbers are legit, <laughs> just bad. Worst team, six points, forty. Um, who did they play? I need to look that up real quick because I didn't. They had a bye last week, but week one they played. Let me look at their schedule. They play Northwestern and lost 13 to 6. <laughs> oh, what a wonderful game. Uh, Cincy is minus 4. What? What? I know Cincy's defense is just, just not good, but I mean, you, you, I mean, you were up on Pittsburgh by a good bit and you kind of choked it away. I, I got to take Cincy by 4. That doesn't make sense. Okay. All right. I, I'm, I'm taking Cincy, Cincy by 4. Cincy's not that bad. Their offense is okay. They held one with Pitt. I would take Pitt by 20 over Miami of Ohio. So, yeah, no, I'm taking Cincy, all four. If that's the true, is that the right number? Hold up. I got to make sure this is right. Is this Cincy? Cincy by four. Yeah, the numbers are right. All right, Cincy by four. It's an actual play. We're not, yeah, not lean, full on play. Cincinnati by four. Let's keep her moving. Um, Texas Tech is up next. We got Texas Tech, North Texas, and it's ten. That's it. Uh, Sixty-nine and a half. The de look at the look at the defense numbers. Look at them. I mean, come on. We're leaning over. We even got to go much into this one. Um, Steve Austin, Washington State. I thought this would be a much higher scoring game. The defense actually showed up 
more than I thought. And maybe just watching this, I mean, Texas Tech's defense is just that bad. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get Eileen the over, not officially, I'm not going to full on make the play, but we lean the over 69 and a half. I think, yeah, these defenses are going to get torched. Keep it moving. There's no need to stay spin around this one. Big game, ranked matchup, Missouri and BC. Um, I, it's, a, I mean, Missouri has pitched back to back shutouts. Is that true? I, tr I don't trust my stats all the time. I always got to check this other things. Yeah, it was Murray State and Buffalo, but 51 nothing and 38 nothing is the last two games. Wow, okay. All right, so, yeah. Uh, Missouri by 15 and a half feels like, almost like a, yeah. I, we, we saw Boston College. They look decent, but they, yeah. Do I trust them enough on the road at Missouri? Missouri's looking nasty. So, I mean, so. And that pass yard is not good against a team who's number one in pass defense. Oh, no. All right. Yeah. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll leave Missouri. We'll lean Missouri 15 and a half. I'm not going to make it official. It will go on some parlays for sure, but I'm not going to make it official. And I don't like that 15 and a half number. If it was 14. I could see 14, but 15. Eh, okay. Let's move. Let's keep it going. Get rid of that. Who are we up to now? All right. This will be the last one because we're now in the one o'clock window. And then we jump to two. Now we'll do two more. We'll do Buffalo next. Oh, Buffalo. Well, your defense numbers are going to look bad. And actually, for getting destroyed by Missouri, your defensive numbers aren't that bad. You held Missouri to 38 points. Good job. This game is terrible. <laughs> I'm just going to look at the numbers. Look at it. Uh, it's like a hot dog. That's all it is. Red and orange. That's all we got. Ketchup, mustard. No green anywhere. Nothing. All right. This is the first one that I will literally, I'm not even going, I'm not going to play nothing in this one. This one is T R A S H trash pass all day on this one. You can play it. Have fun. I ain't even leaning it. I lean nothing. So, and lastly, let's go to temple. Oh, and two versus coastal Carolina, the sea chickens. Here they go. Uh, sea chickens. Cool. Yeah. That's why I call them. Yeah, Shanty Clears. Ah, sea chickens, same thing. 18 points seems like a gift almost because Temple is who was Temple's two games? It was Navy. You let Navy get 38 points. And before that was Oklahoma. So and I think Coastal Carolina is in the same level as Navy. And Navy won by what was that, 27? Yeah, I'm taking go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh Coastal Carolina, Carolina. Uh, they're going to be an official play at 18. Uh, if we can get 17, I'll take it by tomorrow. But as of right now, I'm definitely taking 18. All right, moving on to the next slate. We start off with the Civil War, Oregon, Oregon State. And we have seen Oregon not look all that good recently. We know. They just haven't looked good. We watched them twice now. I mean, Boise's just a good team. Let's just be honest here. Oregon State's 2-0. They shut out San Diego State last week. Uh, you can see the, you can see all the stats. Who has what? Oregon's on a bye week. But there's one thing, this matchup, I'm glad, one, I'm glad they still have it, let's be honest. They almost lost it, but we have it still. Anytime this game is in Oregon State, I feel like when I've watched it, Oregon State has made it a fight. When Even when Oregon's like a massive favorite. So now you're giving me 16 points in Corvallis? Yeah, I'm taking 16 points. I lean Oregon State all day in this one. This, I mean, Oregon could easily blow them out. They probably should blow them out, but it's in Corvallis and weird things happen there and... I mean, yeah, that place is always hype, and you know how rivalry games work. Just, yeah, that's, no, this is one of those ones. You give me the two two touchdown plus at home? Yeah, give me that. It'll probably even go up to 17 points, let's be honest. By the time kickoff tomorrow, it'll be 17, 17 and a half. So give me plus 16. I'll take plus 17 if I can get it by then. But for right now, I'm leaning Oregon State. Well, let's just move on to the next game. What do we got next? Oh, we're going for, oh, we're going straight to a blowout. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Ball State. You got to face Miami. Who? Uh, yeah. You. They beat Florida eight and fifty six to nine last week, and it might be close to the same score. You know, Ball State looks like they have some offense, but they played Missouri State. It was their only game, so uh, they gave up thirty four points. But they're probably going to give up a lot more to Miami because there is a Heisman Trophy uh, <laughs> in the sights of a certain quarterback there. So I bet they're going to attempt to put up lots of points. So. Uh, 36 and a half for that defense is this, this has a feel of 56, nothing type 40, 45, nothing. Um, I lean Miami in the spread. I'm just going to throw it out there. <laughs> I lean, lean Miami. 
minus 36 and a half. If you can get better number, by all means. But yeah, this feels like one of those. It should. I, I don't see Ball State keeping up on Miami. Come on. We've watched Miami. Ball State struggle with Missouri State and FCS team. Nah, keep it moving. Pass. Uh, oh, now we're going to Oklahoma against Tulane. <laughs> um, Tulane lost to K-State. They choked it away. They had the lead. Oklahoma struggled with Houston, who's not a good team. Like, like what is Oklahoma doing? Then you have Tennessee next week. This is a 100% look. This is the whole reason I put this bottom line right here for things like this, because we see people are going to see Oklahoma Tulane and go, oh, Oklahoma should beat Tulane easily. Oklahoma don't give a damn about Tulane. They give a damn about Tennessee next week. So they're going to do everything they can to get out of the game without getting hurt so they can focus on the actual game, the real game next week. Because, I mean, which they shouldn't because... Roll wave, angry wave, best logo in sports. I don't care. A, a pissed off wave, love it. So, uh, Oklahoma by 13, 46 and a half. I mean, you're giving me if I can get if this gets to 14 tomorrow or later today, because you know it will. Peeper, the casual is going to bet Oklahoma because they're at home against Tulane, and Oklahoma hasn't looked good like Oregon. So, Tulane has shown some life. So, uh. I mean, I I gotta do it. Yeah, I, I'm leaning Tulane. They're not bad. I don't. Yeah, yeah. So no. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> I just more I think about. It, I'm like, yeah, no. Uh, I don't lean. I don't like. Yeah, no. Yeah, give me Tulane. This feels like a seven point game, not a not a thirteen point game. So give me Tulane plus. Was that thirteen? It'll get to fourteen. So it'll go on the sheet though. There you go. So. All right, moving on to the next one, which is Purdue and Notre Dame. And you can see right now it's a low spread for a reason. We watched what happened last week. Notre Dame lost the game outright. Last second kick, 60-something yards blocked. Notre Dame, Notre Dame, the coach was crying. He was so happy. Great game. Now Notre Dame gets a road trip to a place that is known for upsetting ranked teams, and that is Purdue. Usually it's Ohio State, but hey, guess what? It doesn't matter. You got a number next to you. You in danger at Purdue, so... Uh, and Purdue's numbers, yeah, given it was Indiana State, I believe it was. Yeah, Indiana State, 49 nothing uh, was the score. But, I mean, you shut out somebody, it was FCS. I don't know how bad Indiana State actually is. But, I mean, they're going to be hyped for it, we know. so Because they were on a bye this past week. So, they've had two weeks to get ready for Notre Dame to come in. They just watched what happened on TV. So, they're ready for it. So, I'm leaning Purdue. I don't care. I lean Purdue plus nine and a half. Uh, slash, I'm going to plus 10 because that's where I know there's 10s out there. There will be 10s easily out there. So the, your casuals are going to bet all your big teams and home field advantage in college is a, is a serious thing. So, all right, let's move on to the next one, which is going to be, is that Florida? It is Florida and A&M. Ooh, the disappointment bowl. All right, so neither team has a really look ahead game at all. Neither... I mean, we saw A&M against McNeese. Oh, okay, whatever. And then we saw them against Sanford. Okay, they both had a cupcake. They both had their fill of sweets for the last week. So before that, though, Florida got beat down by Miami and Texas A&M got beat down as well. I say beat down. They lost the game to Notre Dame, who then lost to Notre Illinois. So I think off the get, I jump. I, I think Florida at home. Uh if Lagway is the starter, I, yeah, I think they roll with that just because plus, one, you're getting three and a half because I think this is a field goal game. Two, it's in the swamp, which matters a lot. And it is a 2.30 game, so, or 3.30, whatever time you want to call it. So, yeah, I'm going to lean. I don't like it. I'm going to lean Florida plus three and a half. That's what we'll lean there. So, uh, no total lean, none of that. Mm -mm. So, no, we lean that. Let's bounce on. Like, we don't have to talk too much. All right, here's the first FCS game of the day. So there you go. Michigan State is playing Prairie View. You get to see their stats, what they did against Maryland. Enjoy. We're moving on. <laughs> when I said we're not spending any time, I was not joking. I don't have any stats for FCS. What's the point of doing it? So uh, now we got Nevada and Minnesota. So, uh, so Nevada has Eastern Washington next week. Why would they abbreviate it and only take the O out? What kind of abbreviation is this for Eastern Washington? <laughs> what? Yeah, all right. And then Minnesota has Iowa next week, so that's a big game. Um, Nevada's 1-2 and two already. Minnesota's 1-1. One one. They beat Rhode Island 48-0. They lost to Georgia Southern by 3. 
Uh, I already banned Minnesota week one against that North Carolina game. I banned them. I said, no, I'm not taking Minnesota ever again. So <laughs> um, 44 and a half, this feels like it. The Minnesota's defense is good. We watched it against North Carolina. They look good. Uh, third down's not good, but hey, but hey, still, still pretty good. Offense is terrible. We know that. They're getting 32 points somehow. Somehow. Uh, turnover margin are fourth at two and a half. Hey, okay, good deal per game. Um, so that's good. I lean, I mean, 17 and a half seems like a lot though. Can, can Minnesota score that much? I mean, I see they score 40 against Rhode Island, but against Nevada, can they? I mean, I'm, I'm not touching this one. Uh, this one's just going to be a pure pass. So I don't lean nothing in this one. Pass it and move on. I have a lot of leans, but no, if it's a pass, I'm definitely 100%. I'm not putting a single dime in this game. So move on. Next game on the docket is going to be Washington. There you are. Against, oh, Apple Cup already. Man, them moving this messed up things. We're having Apple Cup and Civil War in the same day. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, Washington State's defense is trash. <laughs> I mean, that's just the best way to put it. Uh, you beat Eastern Michigan 39. You lost Texas Tech by 21. No, you, no, you beat Texas Tech by 21, even though your defense is trash. Oh, that confused me for a second. Okay. Huh. All right. Um, yeah, I kind of lean the over in this one. Just from this. So I lean over 56 and a half. This feels like a back and forth shootout, especially with that defense for Washington State. I can see that. Yeah, I can see that for sure. So Apple Cup this early feels so weird. Okay, whatever. I'll lean the over. I don't lean aside. I know Washington's four and a half, but I'm just not. I don't know. I mean, that defense maybe, but yeah, but. That was Eastern Michigan. Like, come on. So, <laughs> all right. I'll take the over. I guess we lean Washington a little bit on the money line, but I'm I'm not touching them. So, uh, where are we going next? We're going to, ooh, we're going to Georgia Tech. You're playing VMI. There you go. You got the Weeville next week, so enjoy your bye week. So, <laughs> all right, Georgia Tech, we're moving on to Pitt. Pitt is playing West of Virginia. And how many more games? One, two, three, four, five. Six more after this, or five more after this before we take the next cut before we do them to the night game so all right pittsburgh west virginia uh ooh, ooh, yeah uh, uh let's see yeah i mean is this bribery weekend i mean usually it's thanksgiving week but we got the backyard brawl we got civil war we got apple cup it's a great day for football love it uh, West Virginia, I mean, we saw, we didn't, nobody saw them in against Albany and Pittsburgh since we watched that game. So in Pittsburgh, yeah, we saw what they did there. So I lean Pittsburgh. It's two and a half. I, is this game in Pittsburgh? Let me, let me see location. Let me just make sure it's actually in Pittsburgh or maybe it, may, it might be neutral. Who knows? Let me see where it's at real quick. Do a little research. This is what you gotta do. Uh, <laughs> yeah okay yeah all right so that's what i'm gonna do i i'm gonna lean pit we wa i watched west virginia against penn state they look terrible they they penn state i don't think penn state's amazing but west virginia didn't look good so give me give me pit um plus two and a half slash plus three because i think we'll get to plus three this feels like a plus three game uh, so give me Pitt there. I like the stats better than West Virginia's. And let's just keep on moving. So. Do, do. Where is it next? Oh, we're, okay. We're Pitt. Now we're going to Ohio next. They're playing Morgan State. So if you're looking to bet some Ohio Bobcats, there you go. Enjoy. They're playing Kentucky next week. Hey, enjoy your bye week, guys. Moving on. Iowa and Troy. Uh, I feel bad for Troy. Troy has fallen off a cliff, haven't they? Memphis has beat you down by 21. And now the vaunted Iowa offense is going to beat you. 23 points. This feels like a 20... It feels... This game might be 24 nothing. <laughs> this game is not good. Do I take Iowa 23? I lean it. My first gut reaction is Iowa 20, 23. So, uh, lean Iowa minus 23. 
So, yeah. Um, I mean, can anyone really bet Iowa 23 or more by themselves and just feel confident about it? Do I think Troy will score on Iowa? Probably not. But Iowa State scored, so who knows? I mean, who, who the hell knows anymore? So, um, but it's in Iowa. Uh, yeah, I lean Iowa. Yeah. If ain't hell, maybe lean under too. Lean Iowa slash lean under. There we go. I'll do two leans in this one. Under 39.5. There we go. Double lean in this one. That, that's fun. Okay, so go back. Who's next? Uh, that was Iowa. East Carolina's up next. East Carolina. Come on and raise up. Uh, two and overs App State. App State got boat raced by, <laughs> by Clemson. I had them. Um, I thought App State would hang in there with Clemson. Nah, -uh. Clemson said, no, nah, no, nah, you talking bad enough bad shit about us. We're going to beat your ass now. And that's what they did. So I like ECU. Yeah. Oh, ugh. what's the what's def their defense is good, better, but those numbers are just not good. And that's two games. I ain't just all Clemson. And it's ECU at home. I lean ECU at home. So uh, lean ECU plus it's one and a half, but I bet that thing gets up to three. I bet it does. People are going to bet App State because they know the name. So I'll leave that for now. And then uh, we got two more. Okay, cool. Oh, we're going to Arkansas now. All right, cool. This is fun. This rolling through each game. A lot of pig logos. Uh, Arkansas got Auburn. UAB's on a bye next week. Okay, nothing wrong with that. UAB got house by Monroe of all teams. You let General Booty just beat you down 6, 32 to 6. Come on. UAB should have got a real coach, not a quarterback to be a coach. <laughs> Uh, Arkansas, we saw what happened. The, the massive meltdown against Oklahoma State. We all witnessed that one. So, all right. Uh, Arkansas 23, and I think it's not even going to be that close. So, official play, Arkansas. I hate it. I like UAB, but the Dragons, uh, minus 23. I think Arkansas rolls this one easy. So, UAB just, yeah, their passing defense looks decent, but good luck. So, I mean, good luck. If you let Monroe house you, Arkansas is going to double house you. So, uh, Petrino. And last up before we take the next pause is going to be Utah State. Against, I mean, this ain't technically, I guess it, I guess it technically is a rivalry, but this feels more on the lines of the Oklahoma State Tulsa game. Utah's going to this. Uh, bruh. I would typically say, yeah, Utah State, but look at Utah State's numbers. They are abysmal. You let. USC, who has a terrible defense. Now, given their defense is slightly better this year from what we saw, they look a little bit better, but you let them shut you out. It tells me how bad you are as a team. Uh, yeah, I'm taking Utah by 40. I don't, yeah, no, this isn't, this isn't BYU. This is Utah State. This is not the Holy War. So, uh, Utah is going to run the ball. They might not be able to throw the ball, but they're going to run the ball. But I think Utah can win by 18. So this, this should be a shutout. This should be easy, easy peasy lemon squeezy. So, uh, yeah. All right. All right. Jumping back into it. Duke and Yukon, uh, Yukon beat Merrimack 63 to 17. That was actually a lot of points for Yukon. Kind of surprising. Duke is 16 and a half at home. They, they barely beat Northwestern. I, if anything, I'll lean Yukon a little bit, but I can't put money on Yukon on the road at Duke. I just can't do it. So for me, this one's just going to be a pass. I can't touch this one at all. I wouldn't touch with your money. If you say, hey, bet this for me, I would say keep your money. Can't do it. So, <laughs> no, no shot. Uh, next up, we are going to, oh, the <laughs> we're going to the opposite. North Carolina has a date with NC Central, FCS Town. So, they have James Madison next week. So, enjoy your bye week, guys. You should do quite well with that. So, next up, we're going to Old Dominion. They're playing Virginia Tech, and this always feels like a fun one. Um, I mean, you lost to ECU by six. Uh, you play South Carolina well, and now you have Virginia Tech coming in. And historically, Old Dominion likes when teams in that area come to their stadium. So, yeah, we're, we're going to be leaning some uh, Old Dominion for sure. Um. If this gets a 17, it will become an official play because 
I mean, we'll lean it at 15, but if we can get 17 somehow, let the let the public bet it up a little bit, let's go. I don't want to take it at 14 or 15, but 17, I'll be all over it. And if I decide to change leans to that, I'll update that via whatever. I'll send out updated things. So uh, let's keep it moving. So FAU's up next. Who, buddy? The Owls. You let Army run all over you. But then FIU ran all over Central Michigan. So I'm F. F what is the name of this rivalry? This is uh, FAU. This is like the, no, FAU, FIU rivalry name. What's this called? The Shula Bowl. <laughs> okay. All right. I, yeah, I couldn't remember the name of the rivalry, but it makes me laugh. So um, offenses are terrible. Defenses are terrible. I always call it the alphabet game, one of them. Them and the UTEP UTSA game, because there's just nothing but letters going on. So F I U F A U. I I lean F I U. So I lean F I U in this one plus four point five. Just because they look good against such Michigan and FIU. I watched some of that army game. They didn't look good against Army. So yeah, I lean F I U in this one and let's just move on. It's I mean, we don't need to spend any more time on this game of all games. So uh we're going to liberty 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 should have lost it should have lost in new mexico state new mexico state with the choke job of the weekend people talk about arkansas no nah. new mexico state choked away the win more than anyone did because they had it all day and then liberty comes storming back so uh yeah liberty's gonna win this one but by 24 Ooh, that's i mean utah UTEP lost to Southern Utah. What the hell am I looking at? You lost to an FCS Southern Utah? Oh, okay. Yeah, we're leaning Liberty. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, we're leaning it. The Liberty had their scare. Like, okay, whoa, we need to take it seriously. Okay. Yeah, I think, yeah, the, the oh, goodness. Yeah. <laughs> That's what? Oh, UTEP's going to have a long season. we will put it that way. Um, What else we got? Mm. Oh, we're going to Georgia Southern next. Okay. And you're playing South Carolina State. Enjoy your bye week, friends. You have a date with Ole Miss next. You're going to lose. <laughs> Just probably by a lot. Uh, we're going to Akron next. Who is Akron playing? Hosting is hosting toothpaste. They're they're going to brush your teeth really good with some Colgate before they go to South Carolina. And then let's see. We got Charlotte up next. Who's Charlotte playing? Gardner Webb. They also are FCS, so there you go. No, this one actually has a logo because they played last week, apparently. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm not going. To, I'm not going to detail in FCS games. I can't do it. Uh, Wake Forest is up next. Tell me you're playing a real team. <laughs> oh, you're playing the realest of teams. Okay, you're. Are you hosting Ole Miss? What is this nonsense? And it's on the CW Network. What? <laughs> what the hell is going on? Oh, oh my goodness. Um, okay. I mean, yeah, you, yeah, there was that, that issue with Virginia that game last week. That was a fun one. Yeah, I love football. Uh, but Ole Miss is going to destroy you 21 and a half. I'm, Wake Forest ain't big enough to get loud. So the players are not going to be intimidated by this place. I'm sorry. I just can't. I'm taking Ole Miss. Ole Miss minus 21 and a half. I'm going to look for 21 out there. If I can get 21 all day, I'm, I need to bet that now before it gets any worse. Because <laughs> I would I would look for 21. I would take it up to 24. Wouldn't care. Uh, yeah, pass defense is abysmal. Rush defense is 76 against Virginia and someone else. And now you're facing Ole Miss, which is 1-1-1-1-3. One, 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 <laughs> oh, yeah, big play. Love that one. Let's keep it moving. Oh, my goodness. That just made me chuckle. That just, oh, I love Fridays around here sometimes. What are we going to? Is that where we're going next? We're going to Texas next? Are we sure? No, we skipped over one. I skipped over. That's now we're not in order. I don't like that. Um, we're supposed to go Western Michigan next. Ah, they're playing Bethune Cookman. That's why I skipped it because they they have they have a. I say they have a bye, but hell, look at their stats. They might lose. Who knows? So. All right, now we'll go to Texas. There we go. Texas hosting UTSA. Uh, I thought this would be a better game, but from looking at it, Texas looks amazing, and UTSA don't look that good. You let Texas State beat you by 39. 
what the hell um Texas is this is a 59 nothing 59 7 63 this is one of those Texas is gonna put up a lot of points we just know uh 55 and a half I don't trust UTSA to help that and I think Texas handles it easily so give me Texas minus 35 and that's a play that's official 35 yeah all day Texas yeah you have Monroe next week you have nothing to look forward to so yeah it's basically a bye week general booty coming to town or yeah there's no way Texas is playing at Monroe so yeah it's coming to town uh where are we going next we are in the seven o'clock slate now I think the next break will be here in a few games just to get the throat a little uh break let's see Georgia State's up next We're playing Vandy oh swagger champion Vandy okay um I'm taking Vandy by 10 all day Vandy is Vandy Vandy's all Vandy's got Missouri next week big game that's a big game Georgia State has a bye week you're hosting SEC so that does matter a little bit but it is Vandy so um but the stats are looking good and your your defensive stats are not looking good that's that bodes well for Vandy's offense so I'm going to We'll lean Vandy minus 10. We'll lean it. We'll lean it a little bit. Um, I have to think about that one some more. Do a little more looking into it. That, that look ahead spot with Missouri might be a thing because if the quarterback goes down, the whole season's over. Let's be honest. So uh, that's the only reason. So the Auburn killer, that's what, I, that's what he is. So, all right, we have Georgia State. Let's keep it going. Now we're at Eastern Michigan. All right, cool, 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 cool. Um, look at all the red. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> There's so much red. No, 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 I can't. No, no, pass. No, <laughs> this, is, this is terrible. This is a garbage matchup. I can't. I can't even begin. All right, San Jose, you're up next, buddy. So let's, what you got? Let's, I mean, they're better. It's Kennesaw. Kennesaw's going to do what they do. Uh, San Jose should win by a good bit, but they don't, they barely, I mean, they beat Air Force. Their defense held our force to seven points. That's impressive. But Kennesaw, uh, no. To be honest, this is kind of a garbage game too. I kind of want to pass this one too. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to touch this game. I don't like it. Yeah, I lean San Jose. Will I put them in a money line parlay? Probably, but I'm not going to do anything else. Look at that rush defense. It's 129. That is garbage. Oh, oh. All right. Let's keep it going. Um, Middle Tennessee is up next. Okay, cool. Let's rock with it. Middle Tennessee, Western Kentucky. All right, neither team has, I mean, you got some Duke coming up, but that's a lot of red again. Oh, my God. Both offense and defense are bad for both of them. You beat FCS Eastern Kentucky 31-0. You got housed by Ole Miss. I'm sorry. I can't. <laughs> I just, I need, I, need, I need an advantage out there somewhere. I just don't have it with either one of these teams. Oh, I'm surprised I don't have more passes, to be honest. I have a lot of leans, and I have some plays. Uh, I don't have that many passes. I figured I have more, but hey, whatever. All right. We're getting to that window where we're going to have a lot, apparently. Sam Houston and Hawaii. Hawaii. Hawaii on the road never works out, but they had a buy, so hopefully they got here a little earlier. So, But their offense is just not good. Look at that offense. You're one and one. Sam Houston's one and one. Uh, you lost to UCF by... Yeah, that 30 was at 31. Yeah, so now your favorite at home over Hawaii. What the hell? Let me look at Hawaii's two games real quick. What do Hawaii do? Hawaii's two games were Delaware State, they won 35 14, and they lost to UCLA by three. I'm leaning Hawaii. Lean Hawaii plus 4.5. Yeah, plus 4.5. Okay, great. All right, whatever. <laughs> I'll lean it. I got to look more into it, but it's a lean right now. We'll update the list before tomorrow morning officially. So, uh, where are we going next? That was Hawaii. Let's go Southern Miss. Yeah, we don't got that many games left. I think it was kind of power through it. We're good. I got a mint. I'm good to go. Let's see. That was Sam Houston. Now we want Southern Miss. Southern Miss and South Florida. Mm, you beat them. You beat them. It's USF by 11. I... After last week, watched them against Alabama. I kind of lean this. Uh, yeah. Southern Miss beat them. Who did you lose to? That's a good question. I kind of want to see the stat because your stats aren't bad. Your offense is kind of terrible. You're fast as hell. We know that. So, you know what? I don't care. 
I like Eileen, Eileen USF uh, minus 11, but I would look for minus 10 if possible. If possible, you know, some of those books out there give terrible lines, don't catch up in time. But South Florida does have Miami ahead, which could be a clear look ahead game. Which do little schools look ahead? I don't think they do. They might, though. So, uh, yeah, I, I lean USF. I don't think South Southern Miss is going to get many points in this game because South Florida's defense looked pretty decent against Bama. They just look, yeah. So, uh, moving on. Let's move on. We got Kentucky. Kentucky got blew out by South Carolina. Now you're hosting Georgia. Oh, yes. Georgia 22. I don't care. No. UGA minus 22 uh, up to 28. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. If Kentucky looked that bad against South Carolina, which we watched, they looked absolutely miserable offensively. You think they're going to do anything to Georgia? Come on. Some of these things don't make sense. And Georgia has a bye week next week, too, because they have a bye to get ready for Alabama in two weeks. So... Yeah, Georgia's going to come out. Georgia's going to punch them in the mouth. It's going to be quick blowout city. And then they're going to, yeah, the, the backup defense will still be better Kentucky. Because Kentucky, I was completely wrong about them. Because I watched most of that Kentucky-South Carolina game. They looked bad. Like, not what I thought they would. And you don't fix that in one week, especially playing damn Georgia. So, sorry. Give me Georgia by a lot. Yeah, next. Easy, easy, peasy. Nebraska off the no, okay. You, you beat Rado now. You get to face Northern Iowa. I'm not covering this one because there's no stats, but it is Northern Iowa, and you always got to worry about them. So, um, yeah, not not the easiest FDS team you want to place. So I wouldn't touch any spreads with Nebraska in this game. Just wouldn't do it. Oh, the disappointment of the day. Now last year you hosted New Mexico State, and the new Vandy quarterback. Not only beat you, beat the shit out of you. Now you're facing New Mexico as a 27-point favorite? Oh, hell no. 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 You you lost to Cal last week by four, by seven when you were a 10-point favorite. Now, New Mexico, who's coming off a bye, and now you have Peyton Thorne, who can't throw it to any. He could he could hit the bras out of a barn. So, I just, no. You know, you're terrible at turnovers. You're scoring points, but that was become that first game where you were at like 73 points. No. What does the Mexico done is two games? Let me see these two losses real quick, and I will easily tell if I want to take this shot. You lost to Montana State 35 31, which Montana State is a good FCS team. And Arizona, you lost 61 39. No, no, I lean. I lean New Mexico. Plus 27? Oh, bro, that might be a play. <laughs> like, what are we doing here? What are we even doing here? What are we talking about here? Can't I can't do that. No. Yeah, I lean that. So I don't it's just it's a fate of Auburn. That's all it is. We're fading the hell out of Auburn until they show us they can do anything with a quarterback. That's not against a Alabama AM. That's who it was the first game. So it's a fade. All right. Miss State's up next against Toledo. They have Florida. They have Western Kentucky. Uh, Mississippi State ten and a half. Uh, who did you lose to? <laughs> it didn't pop up. It didn't populate. I must uh, see. That's why Google Sheets. The one little square messes up. All right, now I got to look up real quick who Mississippi State played last week. Arizona State. I didn't. I got to fill that in. So, all right, we'll fill that in. So they lost to Arizona State by seven. Toledo beat UMass by only fifteen. Ugh. Um. I don't, this one's kind of ugly. I don't like this one. Ugh, it's at home. They should, but the numbers aren't looking good. What was your other game? Eastern Kentucky, 56 to seven. Okay, cool. Uh, this one's a pass. I don't like this one at all. This one's one of those. I'm like, ugh, no, pass. Mm -mm, no, I, it's a decent game, but I just don't like it. I don't like it at all. So let's keep it moving. Where are we at? Oh, we have UCLA up next against Indiana. Indiana, they're all, they're two and zero, but they played Western Illinois and got seventy seven to three. Okay, what was your first game? FIU thirty one seven. So Indiana is put up one hundred and eight points and gave up ten all season. So, and UCLA was off a bye, but they lost. No, they won their one game against Hawaii by three. Uh, yeah, I'll lean Indiana. Sure, I'll take I'll take Indiana all day in this one. Indiana. They have shown their offense is clicking. So give me Indiana by three on the road. I'll take that. Thanks. Defense looks good. I mean, sure. UCLA struggled with Hawaii. Yeah. All right. 
Show me what you got. It is off a buy. That does concern me a little bit, but uh, yeah, not enough. Not enough to really care. So <laughs> yeah, I lean that. So, and let's go to Air Force Baylor. That's next up. Uh, where is it at? Baylor. There we go. Ooh, you got Rado next. That's fun. Air Force has a bye week. They just got they just lost to San Jose. Baylor just lost to Utah. This is an ugly game. This is an, I, I, it's hard to bet against military Air Force and all the other military academies because they run the ball. That's what they do. They're good at it. Defense is a premium. Forty one and a half. Is this an Iowa game? Mm, I'm kind of leaning the pass on this one. Not liking it. I don't have a lean at all on this one. Yeah, defenses. 41 is already a low number. Mm. Yeah, if it was a little higher, I'd take the under, but no, I don't like it. Uh, let's move on. There's other games. Colorado State, Colorado, rivalry game. Um, this is going to tell you a lot about Colorado. I mean, we also, Nebraska beat the shit out of them last week. We saw them struggle with North Dakota State, but they won, which was still the fact they won was surprising. Colorado State is one and one, and there they beat Northern Colorado, but in week one, they lost to Texas 52 nothing. And it wasn't even, it could have been 100 nothing if they wanted to. So we don't really have a good grasp on Colorado State yet. FCS and Texas are like the two polar opposites. So if anything, we know Colorado's defense is not that good. It's 58 and a half. We know it was a fun one last year. Lot, still some bad blood in there in this one a little bit. So, oh, we know Colorado can't run the ball. We just know they can't. So that's why they're last in running at 16, no, 37 yards per game, which is okay because that's Colorado State's strength. Their pass defense is not good. So, oops, come back. So, um, I'm leaning the over in this one. Just lean over 58 and a half. I, this should be. Colorado should win this game easily, but they're not going to because they're just not that good. So I'm going to take the over. I feel Shadur is going to try, they're going to try to patch their stats like crazy in this game. If the O line even blocks for him, like they, you know, after what he said last week, who knows what he's going to do. So I'm going to take the over. I expect some points. Defense is going to give up some points on both sides and just have a nice little fun shootout. And let's keep it going. What's up next? That was Colorado State. Now we go into TCU. Oh, we only got a handful of games left. Cool. TCU's 2-0. Oh, you see it. Ooh, this is a good game. This is a good game. You see it was on a bye week. Ooh. My gut reaction is UCF. Just because. Miles on the road, though, does concern me a little bit. So you have SMU, your bye week. Both defenses look good. 62 and a half. This also feels like one of those games that could easily be a shootout. All right, I'm going to lean the over of 62 and a half. I got to look a little more than that. I lean it. Not, not one of those top plays. So, but yeah, you'll see it all. Uh, let's keep it going. TCU, let's go Northwestern. One and one, you got Eastern Illinois. Be careful. You might not win that game. <laughs> I mean, let's, let's just be honest. They might not. Tennessee just came off the blowout and they're hosting. Oh, come back. Where did you go? I don't know why I did that. Uh, Tennessee played Kent State. 49? Come on, that 49 is ridiculous. I mean, I mean, yeah, they won by 41 over NC State, and Kent State is, they lost to think Francis PA. Okay. This one, I'm going to pass on because this game might end up getting uh, clocked. It might, they might have a running clock in the fourth quarter. They might play 50 minutes. This is going to be one of those ones they, they're not going to. Tennessee's going to be at 49 at halftime, probably. So um, we're going to lean Tennessee uh, minus uh, first half, first 1H, whatever. <laughs> Just whatever the number is. Take it. That's all I'm going to do. Tennessee first half, whatever. Just because you want to get those first halves in, because if the most books will pay you out after halftime, but once the game if the game doesn't go full game, all those people holding those forty nines, they might be a little upset coming down in the game. Because Kent State, you lost to St. Francis, you lost to a damn high school. <laughs> so, yeah, first half to try to get the win in and try to get out. So, mm, Virginia, Miss Maryland, you got Sea Chickens, you got Villanova next. Defenses are not that great. Offenses are pretty decent. So 
it was 24 27 31 30 close game hence the one point spread i lean over i lean points that's why i'm gonna lean so we're gonna lean the over of 57.5 this one so yeah i don't trust these defenses to hold up and i think both can get some points so cool moving on oh god houston houston and rice you don't yeah owen two. the houston's numbers are just not good defenses are decently stats but rice Mm, you beat Texas Southern by 62 and you lost Oklahoma by that. I don't think it's because you're that good. I think Oklahoma's just that bad right now. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. So what did Rice do the first game? That's what I want to see. Rice load. Sam Houston, you lost by 20 to Sam Houston. That ain't good either. Okay, this one's a pass. It's just a bad game. They, they save all the bad games for the, the nightcap. There's a lot of night games, so it makes sense. All right, and after Houston, we have Wyoming, who lost to Idaho. I I called that one. That was a heavy lean. I didn't. I betted it. I betted it. I bet it in some of my parlays, uh, but I did not bet it straight. It wasn't one of my top plays. But I said, I said in the video, I said you gotta watch out for Idaho, and Idaho get you, and it got them. The potatoes don't play over there. So, um, BYU by ten. I mean, yeah. Under 40 and a half might be a play. BYU's defense looks good. I'm just taking BYU. Yeah. We'll just, uh, we'll lean BYU. We'll lean BYU uh, minus 10. That's a good lean. We got two games left. Look at, let's go. Almost. Up. Oh, oh. <laughs> Get a little quick trigger here. We got Cal against San Diego State. You have Florida State next week. You already knocked off Auburn. Now you're back at home. Now you're playing San Diego State, who got shut out by Oregon State. Uh, Cal by 17 is a high number, though. That seems pretty high. But looking at this, I lean the under. The first thing I think is lean under. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to lean under 47.5. This feels like a game that there won't be many points, period. We watch Cal. We watch what they did against the Auburn game, 21-14. San Diego State never has good offense, and their defense is always pretty good. So actually, I'm going to take that. I'm... We're taking a lean off. I'm taking the under 47 and a half in this one now. I feel better now. Yeah. Yeah. And they're number one in turnover margin. They're 28. Defenses are defensing. All right. So, yeah. Give me the under in this one. And let's go to that last game, which is Fresno and New Mexico State. Mm -mm. This game's terrible. <laughs> what a terrible way to end the, end the night off. It's at 1030 Eastern. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, oh, oh, no. <laughs> I'm not staying up. Nothing to watch this one. So we're going to pass on that one and end it right there. So done. All right, that's it. Whole college slate broken down. We talked about every single game. I showed the stats, even if it was FCS game. We did it all. And I gave leans. I gave plays. We gave totals. We gave passes. Everything was out there. Uh, members get the full list, so you don't have to watch the video, or you can just use the video as reference. Members, you can join. All the links are in the description. Check them out. If you watch the whole thing, I appreciate you watching. This is college football. I love doing this. We'll do the same thing for NFL. You'll get that tomorrow. But today is college. This gets the focus. So that's all there. Uh, drop in the comments what you're playing. Let me know. Um, now, if I clearly miss something, like if somebody is not actually hosting a game and it's like at a neutral site, please let me know because you see I roll through these quickly and I am, you know, sometimes you miss things. That's what we're here. We're a team. Now, if you miss something, let me help you get something. So, you know, we're, we're a team here. We work together. Our goal is to win no matter what. As long as we win and the books don't win, that's all that matters. So I appreciate you watching. Like and subscribe. And we will uh, have a great Friday night and Saturday and see how it goes. Peace.